Hi, today I want to talk about the commercial exhaust hood kitchen to help the restaurant owners understand how important it is to select the right commercial kitchen for their restaurants. First of all, most commercial buildings are designed for retail or office space. So let's take an example of a 2,000 square feet space designed for an insurance uh, business. So let's say the insurance uh, business has four agents and let's assume all four agents have uh, four appointments at the same time. With the customers and the staff, they may occupy the uh, space about 10 people occupancy, right? So the building, the space has only one HVAC system and designed for that many people because according to the building code, it's required how many cubic feet per minute CFM per person within the space. So when you turn that space, 2,000 square feet, into a commercial uh, kitchen and a restaurant uh, with 50 seating capacity, right? Now, the CFM has to be recalculated based on the 50 seating capacity. So one HVAC unit is not going to provide enough indoor air quality quality. And then on top of that, the exhaust hood kitchen consume up to 75% energy of the entire building. You heard me right. 75% the commercial exhaust hood takes a lot of energy. So how do you, where do you get the fresh air for the kitchen, you know, um, produce you know, comfort, air comfort for the kitchen staff without taking the air in the dining room and divert it into the kitchen. And this is where the MAU makeup air units come in. And the makeup air unit usually come with the exhaust a kitchen hood uh, as an option. But today it's very common that it has to come together because in order to save you some money, it's better to install the MAU unit. So that way you don't have to install a second HVAC unit to provide enough fresh air for the space. So if you look at the photo with the arrow there, that is the makeup air unit installed right on front of the hood. And this system taking the heat inside the kitchen and dump it out into the roof, into the air above the roof and then take fresh air from outside, push it back into the kitchen, and that will provide enough fresh air for the kitchen staff without the engineer have to touch the, uh, the air from the dining room and put it into the, the kitchen.